So it'll be a little bit easier to get what we call your sea legs as you're standing. If you keep your feet about shoulder width apart, your knees nice and soft. That way you're going to be able to handle those waves as they roll to you. I think part of the magic is uh, just their size and the fact that we're able to see these very large animals in their natural habitats. Every single trip is different. We never know when or what we're going to stumble upon. So I think that's part of the excitement and part of the magic when you get a chance to see them. At this point, we get a chance to see a lot of juveniles as they pass through. So sometimes that's very exciting as well, getting a chance to document these animals, learn more about their journey. And then what we found from our studies is that we do serve as a supplemental feeding ground. So we get a chance to observe a lot of different behaviors. So not just animals passing through, but sometimes feeding, and then even socialization and play. With humpbacks, they're known for being very surface active and acrobatic. So I tend to refer to them as a whale watcher's dream, as you get a chance to see more surface behaviors. We're in a very unique area that we have so much diversity that passes through. For many of us, it could be our front yard, our backyard, um, and a lot of people are surprised that we have so many animals that come through. I think by coming out and experiencing them in their natural habitat, you're able to form more of a personal connection with them, get a chance to appreciate them in their natural environment, and that's the best way that we can help protect and conserve the species.